Welcome to Farming Simulator 2017 with the Rude Man. And I've had a couple of uh, subscribers ask me how to make simple mod changes to mods. And so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how to do that. First of all, this is the mod I'm going to uh, change today. Uh, so let's get in here and take a look at what it is. It's a dump truck with a trailer on it. So there's actually in this mod, there are two different mods. Uh, one is the truck and one is the trailer. And we're going to change both of those. So to start with, let's take a look at this trailer and see what changes we're going to make. First of all, if we go look at this, one of the changes people wanted to know how to make was how to change the price. If you notice, this is $279,500. we are going to change that. And then the other thing that we're going to change is the amount that it holds. It holds 39000 We're going to change that also. And then some of the other things that we're looking at changing is the price uh, per day that it costs you to run this piece of equipment and also the uh, length of uh, time that it takes to wear and tear the darn thing. So those are some of the changes I'm going to do. If we look at the trailer on this you'll notice that the trailer is a lot is less money and it holds 32,000 units um, so in looking at the mod the trailer actually looks a little bit bigger than the truck so why is the trailer holding less at a very minimum they're the same size in volume or should be so that's kind of what we're going to look look at doing today. Let's run to my desktop and I'll show you how to do this. So welcome to my desktop. The first thing you need to know before you start modding a mod is to make a copy of the mod because you don't want it in the same location as where you're actually uh, keeping all of your mods. So make a copy of the mod and put it someplace else. In this case, I like to do my work on my desktop. Now my mods are in a complete different different um, drive than the game that I'm playing. So because I like to keep my mods separate from the game. But what I've done is I've created a folder up here. I'm going to open that up. This is the mod that I've chosen and as you've seen it's that it's that uh, dump truck in the trailer. And as you notice it's in a zip form. So the first thing you need to do is you have to have some way to unzip this file. Most people know how to do that, but uh, if you don't, you can unzip it. Windows can unzip it. I use a program called 7-Zip, and I do that because it's a very uh, good program. It unzips zip files and uh, WinRAR files. So that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to right-click on this, and I'm going to go to 7-Zip, and I'm going to tell it, now you can open the archive, you can extract it, you can extract it here, and you can use the um, extract to the folder with the mod name in it, right there. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna click on that, and you'll notice now that it has created an identical folder in name, except for this one is not zipped. So we're gonna click on that, and we're gonna open it up. Okay, once you open it up, you're going to see all of these files. You know, these files are the files that make up that mod. I wouldn't mess with anything here except for the XML files. That's what we're going to concentrate on today. Now, this particular file has three of them. Normally, you're only going to have the two. You're going to have a mod description, and you're going to have an XML that represents the actual uh, mod, which is a man truck in this case. But this mod has two mods in it, the truck and the trailer. So you've got a third XML and we're going to have to work both of those. Now, if you're going to change, make changes to an XML, you don't need the giant editor. These two right here, the trailer and the man truck, these are what you'd have to use the uh, giant editor for these, but we're not going to mess with these. These are the I3D files. So, and we're not going to mess with any of the textures or any of that. So let's start with the man truck over here. That'd be this one right here. And we're going to open it up. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to open it up with a program called Notepad++. 
I use Notepad++ it's because it's a very robust program. Uh, it really makes a difference in the way you work your Notepad. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to open it up. And these are all the scripts and information that make up this mod. Now, the things we're going to look at changing are up at the top here. Let's just take a look at some of this. Up here is just your uh, annotation, your giant software stuff, um, that kind of thing. Right here, if you look at this area, is the name of the, of the mod. You've got the specs right here. You've got functions here. Now, we're getting into the part where we want to change. One of the things that my subscribers have asked me to change is the actual price of the mod in the store. And that's what this is right here. So it's 279500 Just for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to change this to uh, 250000 instead of 279000 So let's change that and then take the 500 out. All right, now you'll see right here that I've changed it to 250,000. The other thing they asked me to change was the daily upkeep. In this case, the daily upkeep on this is right here, and it's $749 a day. I'm going to just change that down to 500. All right, so we've changed that to 500. There is a third one that people didn't mention, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. It's right here, right on this line right here, and you'll notice it's $600. It's the lifetime amount. Now, what that means is in 2017, there is now uh, part of the game that your equipment uh, decreases in value as you use it. In other, in other words, it wears down. It needs maintenance. And in this case, this particular piece of equipment has a lifetime of 600. That's the, the length of time that this uh, piece of equipment is going to be able to be used before it's completely wore out and you have to get rid of it or trade it in. So uh, let's change that from 600. I'm just going to change it to 1,000 just to show you how to change it. And again, it's, it's right here. All right, so now the next thing we want to do, we've made several changes now, but the main change that you might want to do is to change the amount that the piece of equipment will hold as far as grain or whatever you're going to put in it. Now, you're going to have to look for this. It's usually called the, uh, the fill. So we're going to go down to the bottom. I know where it's at. You just have to kind of look for it. And let's see, we're getting close down here, right down here. Okay, so it's called the fill unit. And if you're looking, it's right here. So if you look at this line, the fill unit line, down on the end here, you'll see where it says bulk. We want the capacity of the bulk right there. Right now it's 39,900. I want to change that. I want to make that 50,000. Okay, so now we have changed that right there to 50,000. Okay, now you've done the changes that you want to make. I would not mess with anything else in here. If The thing of it is, if, if you don't know what it does or how it works, don't change it. Don't change it. These are very simple changes. I mean, obviously, the price is 2500 If you want to change it to $1, you can change it. That's a pretty simple and straightforward. But some of this stuff in here is actually scripting and, and coding. And if you don't know what it does, don't mess with it. So now what you need to do is to save this. Now with this program, um, Notepad++, you can hit this little icon right here to save it, which is it's a little disk, picture of a disk. Or you can just go up into the file like you normally do and say save. And that's what we're going to do. And then you close this. Now we're right back here again. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and make the changes to the trailer. Now that we've got the uh, the truck taken care of, let's change the trailer. So open this up. 
We're going to open it again. Now, this time, I'm not going to use Notepad++. I want to show you what it looks like if you just use Notepad. So we're going to go here and say open with Notepad. All right, now there is what you get when you open it with Notepad. As you can see, the reason why I use Notepad++ is Notepad++ is very robust. It does a lot of things, and, and this is kind of a mess. This is just all thrown in here. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to search for what you want to change. Now, fortunately, the things that we were changing were way up on the top here, so it might not be too hard to find those. So if you're looking over here at the daily upkeep and the price, okay, let's start with the price. If you see my mouse right here, that's the price. It's 44000 I don't want to change it by too much. I'm just going to change it to 40. All right. So we've changed that to, to 40,000. Now we're going to go over here to the upkeep. 60 on the upkeep seems pretty good. So I'm just going to leave that. But let's go to the lifetime and change that right here. We're going to change that from 600 to 1,000. And you know what? Let's change this. Let's change the upkeep on this just so we can show that we changed it. All right, now the, the only other thing I want to change with the trailer is the amount that it holds. Now, as you can see, that's going to be a little bit harder to find because well, we don't know where it's at. We know it's down here someplace. If you remember, we had to go down quite far to find it. What you can do to make it a little bit easier is make sure you're at the top I see where my mouse is. Just click your mouse someplace up top here and then do Control F. That'll open this little box right here and we can type in, we know it's in the fill units. So let's just type in the word fill and have it search for it. And it found the fill units right here, right here. Okay, so if we go down this line, again, we're gonna see bulk and we're gonna see the capacity. And the capacity now is 32,000. If you remember when we looked at that, that trailer looked as big as the one on the truck. So why would it only hold 32,000? So I'm, again, gonna change it to 50. This mod has something a little bit different in it than some of the other mods, and that's right here. If you look right here, it says specs. Okay, this one has a spec uh, component to it, and uh, it has a capacity unit of 32,000. Now, right there. And what this is, this is not your fill unit. This is not telling the mod how much it holds. What this is, is it's telling the store how much it holds. So if you did not change this, in the store, it would say that it holds 32 thousand but the mod would actually hold the fifty thousand that you're changing it to so this is just a little bit of a different uh thing about this mod than some of the other mods have and what you have to remember about mods is that whoever creates them they don't have to follow any kind of rules um the things that you might want to find to change maybe at the top maybe at the bottom maybe in the middle uh you you sometimes have to search for them this is just a little bit something different than the norm. If you noticed in the actual truck, this did not uh, happen. We didn't have this in the truck mod. So I'm gonna change this to 50 so that in the store, it will show 50. Now I'm gonna get out of here before I mess anything up. So go up to your file and save. And get out of this. At this point, we have modded the trailer and we have modded the truck. The only thing we need to do now is to rezip this file. So to do that, you're gonna you're gonna take and highlight everything that's in this folder right there. So everything is highlighted. Right click, click on anything there, and then we're going to use our seven zip again. And we're going to add it to an archive right here. Okay, 
When you do that, it should come up with the name of the mod in a zip form, and this archive right here should say zip. If it does, you don't have to do anything, and it should do that automatically, it should. So if this has the name of the mod, and, and it's in zip form like it is here, you can just hit OK. Now what's going to happen is it's going to make a new file over here or wherever on your, on your uh, desktop here. It's going to make a new file. It's going to say it's temporary until it's done zipping. So let's hit OK. And you'll notice over here it's starting a new file. It's temporary. Now that it's done, it's a regular zip file. Okay. Just click on that right here. That's your new mod. Right click on it. Copy it. Get out of this. You can now paste it to your desktop. There's your new mod right there. All you have to do now is take this, drop it into your mod folder where you have the rest of your mods and replace the old one that's in there. That's all you have to do. Now let's go take a look at the changes that we made. All right, so we are back on the farm. Let's take a look, see if our changes took effect. If we go into the store and we'll look at the truck, let's go over to this truck right here. You'll notice that our price changed down from 279 to 250. Down here, our uh, units now holds 50,000. If you look over here, our daily costs went from 600 to 50. So our changes did take effect. One of the other things that you could have changed, you could have changed the amount of fuel that it held. I did not do that, but you could do that. It's in there. Let's go back and look at the trailer now. If we go over to the far end and click on this trailer, you'll notice it went from 44,000 down to 40. And if we go over here, our cost per day were 60. We changed it down to 50. And look, our units are now 50,000 liters. So that's all there is to making simple changes to your mods. If you have any trouble at all, give me a shout. I'd be glad to help. What you do have to remember in these mods is everyone is different. So where you found the changes to this mod may, may be in a complete different location on the next mod. You just kind of have to search for those things. The important thing again, don't mess with anything that you don't know what it does. I hope this was helpful for you, and I'll see you again on the next episode. Happy farming.